Shit. This isn't a joke. Okay, I know. Look, it was my first time. Just none of you give a fuck. No. Fuck you. So Breast Friends is about um, a group of female relay runners. Um, so the head of the team is called Ash. Uh, she's confident, she's the best runner. And um, a couple of days before um, a couple of days before a big race, uh, one, of the, one of the girls gets injured on the team and they have to call on this outsider um, called Adele to come in onto the team. And Ash, the head of the team, she takes an act of disliking about uh, over Adele for no really reason only that she's real confident and she it kind of threatens her kind of um, status. Um, so as the um, film goes on, the girls, all the other girls in the relay team really like Adele and they try to bring her into their group, um, but Ash kind of um, doesn't really want it to happen. So um, one day uh, at the, in the change in, when they're getting changed after um, practice, uh, one of the girls invites Adele to a sleepover. And, um, and at the sleepover, um, Ash's world kind of turns upside down and she begins to realise that she might have feelings um, for Adele. Um, yeah. yeah. And would, how would you categorise it? Like, would it fall into any kind of style or genre? Or was that mm -hmm. something that particularly mattered to you when you were writing yeah. it? Yeah, um, I think the most important, the one in which I was kind of aimed for was coming of age. Um, when I was actually writing, I was going more now. It kind of shows how it kind of things uh, change over time when you're uh, when it goes into post-production. But at the start, it was like a comedy with bits of drama. Uh, but then it kind of ended up a drama with bits of comedy. And um, I guess yeah, I wanted an LGBT. Um, I, when I was writing at first, I kind of was more like when I was looking back over the like, first drafts of the script. It, it's it's more only hinting at LGBT things, kind of along the lines of Handsome Devil, that kind of things where it doesn't go kind of full into things. Um, but I think I kind of, in, when I was writing, I kind of was scared to go like fully there. But then I had a lecture tell me just like, go for it. You can't like think about what everyone watching is thinking when you're writing, when you're writing. So then I kind of went into LGBT uh, genre. Then, yeah. it, it kind of crosses into the genre of Age, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the like I suppose characteristics of a coming of age is sort of transformation. And yeah. The lead character will transform throughout the piece, mm -hmm. and normally they kind of start off naive, mm -hmm. quite inexperienced. Yeah. But actually, a little bit differently. Tell me a little, little bit about her. Yeah. So um. Yeah, I kind of seen a lot of kind of coming of age things where say I feel I'd watch a lot of coming of age with guys and 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 it'd be they'd be very like uh, nervous. They'd be you know, yeah, they'd be naive and they'd be very kind of like finding themselves along the way. But I kind of had, I was kind of interested in um, people who were um, kind of dominant and um, high status people because I find that I think with high status people, they kind of, uh, I don't know, people kind of think that they don't have insecurities and they don't have pro like proper problems because they are so confident on the outside. And I think I wanted to explore um, the idea um, that like a real sporty person can be uh, a real sporty confident person can have like struggles exactly like you know naive uh, like um, insecure and naive people yeah yeah trying to get yeah that yeah and um, the film kind of deals with kind of sexual tension and mm -hmm. anxieties and kind of insecurities yeah did you find that very difficult to direct did you find you really had to work with the actors to achieve that yeah, um, I kind of, not in the actual, with the actors who I had, so basically when I was kind of doing script, um, so when we're in college we kind of go off and we go into some acting um, places and we went into the Meissner um, people in town and so I'd bring my script and I, so I brought the scene like the touching of the boobs scene, I brought that one to them and I kind of went in really naively and with these types of things you have to be very, you know, almost you have to kind of like talk like a doctor to people you have to be confident in yourself to say okay now you're going to touch this person's breast you know you have to be if you're kind of like oh am I now you're going to touch uh, someone's boob uh, and if you're like that then they'll get anxious so I'd kind of gone into this thing and I was really anxious and then it just went completely wrong it just went like wrong when I was doing this rehearsal and then I kind of was like oh this is going to be this is going to be really hard so I kind of went off and then I kind of <laughs> uh, 
was trying to figure out why I was kind of unconfident in myself talking that way but then I'd gotten advice by someone um, to say like talk to people like as if you know how like when like a doc if like a doctor's telling you about something about yourself they're very like matter of fact and I kind of took that upon myself to be if I'm confident in myself what I'm saying they'll be confident so when I actually went to go film those like real sexual th them scenes it literally it was just so easy that I, I, I was kind of stepping around stone, I was stepping, uh, stepping around being like, okay, so now you guys are going to, and they're like, oh, okay, this is grand. And they all were so confident in it. And I, I'm like, it was amazing to see like the journey of it because I think if I didn't have that time where I was kind of struggling with it, it mightn't have like helped, you know, uh, with the end product. Um, but yeah, it was, it was tough at the start, um, but I feel like it was more tough on my end. I feel like it wasn't tough for the girl, like, well, in my, hopefully it wasn't tough for the girls. Uh, but um, yeah, it was really fun. That was like my favourite scenes, really, to be honest. All them scenes were my favourite to do, really. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. Um, and so, so like female sexuality and sexual orientation is one of the most like, sort of themes, mm -hmm. but like not kind of maybe yeah. not the dominant theme. But um, did you find that in Irish films there was a sort of a gap that was kind of void for Particularly females exploring their sexuality. Mm, yeah, um, yeah, I think so. Um, I think it's kind of changing now, even in the last like like uh, like six months, kind of going on year. Um, and yeah, so I kind of felt that sometimes um, I don't. Sometimes with female sexuality, they'll be very like won't show things. They'll be very off screen and. Um, what I kind of wanted to do with Breast Friends was that I wanted to really, like even when uh, I've seen it like being screened, the minute when they're all uh, like touching each other's bo boobs, it's like people are kind of like, oh, she went, th people weren't th might not think I was going to do, like it's going to come up, you know? And I think sometimes it can make people feel a bit awkward and, you know, a bit like, you can kind of hear everyone and I love that. <laughs> I love, me. I don't, I kind of like making feel, people feel a bit awkward because I feel like it kind of, it's like, a, it's it. Like I feel like in film, everyone always thinks that like, oh, there's happy and then there's crying. But like, you know, there's other kind of emotions that I feel like it's great for an audience to feel. And I think like anxiety and kind of feeling anxious is really kind of yeah, interesting. Kind yeah, yeah, definitely. And, and what has like the general reaction been to the mm -hmm. film since you released it? Yeah. Almost. Well, almost a year now. Since yeah, you, crazy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. been like to London and New York and yeah. California and Canada. Yeah, and yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. That's my yeah no so um, so we premiered at Gaze so that's like the LGBTQ plus uh, festival and I'm actually so glad it went there first because it was great seeing our, like reaction among your pe peers and stuff um, I don't know yeah it was it's kind of mad then we went down to Cork and uh, <laughs> that was kind of it was like sometimes you have like good kind of audiences and um, you know maybe you might not have a load of people in the theater and stuff like that sometimes you can be like oh but then you have a good one again then you have you know so it can kind of like change each time but it was like uh, it's amazing seeing it. and then we went to I went to London for Underwire which that was incredible like do you know sometimes like when you go to sometimes I feel like if you go to things you just assume that people won't be there but then like it like had sold out and it was in BFI South Bank and it was incredible just like oh god like a full like you know full theater I don't know I kind of still get shocked at those things I know that's kind of but yeah no it's it, great yeah it's a big change yeah yeah yeah, yeah, like, yeah yeah this is kind of a script that you just kind of had in mind and yes then suddenly it's yeah amazing, yeah amazing festivals which yeah is really to go to. yeah no it was crazy yeah it's yeah. amazing yeah and then also kind of it's also been done Australia. Yes, Australia. Yeah, yeah. That was on a gays on tour. So um, gays do like this program where they like travel with the program that they had, the Irish shorts. And so then I went to Australia, which is me. And I got like messages. Like obviously I can't go to Australia, but uh, so I got like I got like messages over Instagram. People like seeing it as well, which is kind of crazy. So it's, that's where like kind of online stuff is unreal because like you know you can kind of see how it goes down, um, where where you can't get to go, you know. Uh, but uh, yeah, no, it was fantastic.